I, William, Fickner, William, Billy Fickner, the legendary Billy Fickner. You don't understand, Billy Fickner. So a bunch of names pop up for like you know family members and everything, and and uh, I'm sitting in a meeting with all the producers. And I go, guys, for Leo, Billy Fickner. And then, do you think he would do it? I'm like, I don't know. He's one of my favorite actors. So anyhow, dream, dream come true. Oh my goodness, Whip, classic guy, classic icon, the best. And I got to tell you this, I interviewed Sarah a minute ago, right? First of all, looking phenomenal. Mm-hmm. I told her, I said, share with me a Milo story that no one would probably know. <laughs> My Milo, what did she, she sh- say? She shared me a story about you guys in a car one time doing a scene oh, downtown. Yeah. downtown. Mm-hmm. You went in reverse and just woo! Tell me, is it first of all, is that true? And then tell me your version of the story. I will say this: when you're in a Ferrari 488 Spider and you have closed roads in downtown, you have to do the respectable thing and take the car to speed. I did say to Sarah, like we did this one pass and you know, pulling up in front, it doesn't have to be too hot, but pulling up in front of a a, a gala and uh, Sarah asked, after the first one, she's like, are you gonna do that next time? I go, no, actually, she was gonna punch me in the face. That's what she said, that's what what she said. No, 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 she was gonna punch me in the face. It was gonna go down. It was gonna go down, (laughs) it was gonna go down. But I told her, I said, listen, I, I, I will always tell you all the information, communication, we are we are TV brother and sister. We got to make sure we're we're in the same uh, same mind, mind frame. From this day going forward, I want I want you like that, sir. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> so Milo, you are such a charming guy. America loves you. They look at you as America's dad. I look at you as uncle, Uncle Milo. Bro, you went from TV dad to sexy comment. What was that transition like, my man? I mean, I hate to say, it, but a shave and a haircut, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of a shave and a haircut. Um, I mean, it was one of those things that, you know, I, I, we developed a script uh, with my company, Divide, and, and we were working on it, and I saw very much a, a role that I could step into with Charlie, and he was different than, than other men that I had played. And there was something simple yet complex about him. Like, I love the fact that I look at him like, oh, he's, he blends into a background. He's unremarkable. He's unmemorable. That works for his con world because when he steps into whatever he has to step into, he will just light up the room and then be forgotten. So it was, it was a challenge to be able to play a, a character who has several characters within him as well. So it was just, I don't know, and, and it was fun and sexy and like exciting. And you know, it's like we, we hit some, some deep, heavy heart notes like we did on This Is Us a little bit with the family, uh, with the romance. But at the same time, it just this felt like entertainment. It felt like entertainment, you know? It felt like something that people were gonna like turn their TV on and be like, you guys are my Sunday night and that's what we wanna be. See, that's what I'm talking about, Milo. That's what I'm talking about, brother. Because I, t- I saw the trailer. I haven't seen the, the full episodes yet. But I saw the trailer. Okay. I saw the bar scene. I saw the chemistry yeah. between you and Catherine. newcomer Catherine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, bro, this is big for her. What was it like, your chemistry working with Catherine? Tell me what that was like. I mean, she, this is new to her. Yeah, I mean, listen, she's relatively new, but she's been here for a while, you know. Um, and this being just a big opportunity, which I think for all of us on the producing side, we're excited. You know, she, 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 every step of the way from the very first tape we saw going all the way until we called her to say, hey, you know, the job is yours. She fought for it. She was present with it. She was there and she, she had a desire, a want to be with this group. And I think that speaks volumes when you're looking for a member of a, of a family, when you're looking for a member of a cast, you want someone to want to be there. And she definitely had that want to be there. It was a, uh, it was very exciting for us to uh, to have her step into the to the role of Emma. Listen, cool. we got your brother from This Is Us. I mean, uh, your boy John. Oh, now he's he, yeah. yeah. So he actually directed uh, a scene, I believe, in this new episode. So are we going to see more of this? So so aside from getting the entire, nearly the entire This Is Us crew on the show, yeah, I got just about everybody. That's um, like, yo. First of all, pause on that. That's dope. Right. Man. That in episode, that's dope. Bro. Thanks, man. Well, I mean, listen, we did it successfully for five, almost six years together. Why not take a winning team? I mean, you win the Super Bowl five times in a row. It's like, hey, why don't we just keep playing, but we're just going to wear different uniforms? You know, listen, that, that's the way that I saw. And also, for me, I, I know that I like to be around my friends. I like to work with my friends. And what better way than to say, hey, guys, we got a new show, same studio, Disney's, uh, different network, ABC, same, same filming studio, Paramount. You guys want to come and do this? And everybody said yes. Cause you a man's man, brother. I try. I mean, listen. I want to. Keep, I want to keep people together, but also, but yeah, it's John Huertas. Yeah. John Huertas. He's he directed episode five, and he's also going to be directing episode ten. So oh. yeah, listen. He's he's a talented man behind the camera, not just in front of the camera. Um, 
He's a good friend of mine. And again, work with friends. Work with your friends. Work with your friends. <laughs> so we're we gonna get more of the friends from this is us, more of the cast members. So, okay, I mean, the next. Listen, so, what's your dream reunion then? If, I mean, I mean, listen. Can I get Mandy Moore behind the behind the lens? Yes, I would love to. Can I get Jen Morrison behind the lens? Yes, I'd love to. Can I get any anybody else in front of the camera? Yes, I'd love to. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna. That's what I'm trying to do is see people just like pop up from the past. Um, even people from shows that I worked with in the past. Again, work with your friends. So as all like roles are popping up, you know, not just this episode, this pilot episode, this first episode, but down the line, like you may see a face or two be like, wait, Milo and he were in a, oh wait, Milo and her were in, oh my, I mean, just like we're, we're out to blow minds. I, I can't wait for this to come out. I can't wait to see the episode tonight. My last yeah. question for you, Milo. Now, the thing with the show is all is fair is love and lies. All is fair in love and lies. What's the craziest lie you've ever told? Now, I got everybody to do this. I know you're not going to disappoint. What? Something you can tell America. That I'm a good actor. 